What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we have some really big Destiny 2 news. And that's because Bungie has just released a brand new trailer for tomorrow's Curse of Osiris expansion. Now this trailer contains quite a few things, but very importantly, at the end showcases some never before seen raid layer gameplay. Now it is only a couple of seconds, but within these couple of seconds we get several different scenes showcasing different settings within this new raid layer. Very exciting stuff, we're gonna go over everything, so let's get started. Now the first thing of note is the showcase of a few new strikes. The title screen, New Strikes, appears and then we see this landscape here. Now this very much looks like Nessus. We have Nessus style foliage, it, it looks exactly like it. However, this may actually be Mercury and that's because Mercury was at one point apparently a garden world this could be that garden world. And remember, you do have access to Mercury's past within the infinite forest. You are going back to Mercury's garden world past if you get those correct nodes and you go into the infinite forest. So this does have the potential to be a strike that takes place within the infinite forest and specifically within Mercury's glorious past. And that's really cool. And what's also really cool is we get to look at a brand new exotic weapon within this gameplay. Right here, the hand cannon being used has some definite similarities, let's just say, to the exotic pulse rifle, the Red Death from Destiny 1. This seems to be a different version of that, just like the Mida Mini Tool is inspired by the Mida Multi Tool, but this seems to be uh, an actual new exotic being added. Or it could be the legendary counterpart to the actual Red Death, which may be added as well. That's another possibility. In any event, there's definitely a cool hand cannon we're looking at here. Now right after that we see this massive glowing green orb. We've seen this a few times before in previous trailers, but its position here within the trailer really points to it being part of a brand new strike. This one again taking place on Mercury, but this time being more the traditional style of present Mercury. Remember also that these strikes could be from the actual strike playlist or the story missions because story strikes are being added where you can play through a strike within the story mode and have more exposition, more dialogue, even different activities to do and different objectives to more explain what the heck is actually going on within that strike and then when you replay it within the strike playlist you will have more background information. That's one of the features of the Curse of Osiris. Next up, we have new Crucible maps, and firstly, it showcases a new map within Titan. Next up, it showcases a new map again within that past of Mercury potentially, or just Nessus, but I really do think it is the Mercury's past map, and that's really cool. Again, we get to explore this kind of semi-new area. And it showcases a Guardian using, firstly, a new exotic grenade launcher, the one that shoots the tracking spider mines, and using a brand new exotic emote, of course, the selfie emote to capture his kill. We also have a screen that says new gear, and then it flashes quite a few different outfits. I'm going to slow it down here so you guys can take a look at all of those, and notice that the ghost changes as well. Now, the ghost is going to have a lot of really insane, as you're seeing, exotic ornaments that are coming within Bright Engrams in Season 2. Season 2, again, starts on December 5th, aka tomorrow, with the release of this expansion. It then moves on to showcase some different different ships, the three different ships changing to the pretty wild new exotic ships that are again going to be available within Season 2's Bright Engrams. A lot of cool stuff is being added through that. Now moving on from there, we just have some more gameplay until we get to this gameplay here, showcasing what seems to be the new exotic trace rifle coming in this expansion. Similar to the current trace rifle, the Cold Heart, this new one seems to be somewhat the opposite. Shooting a red laser instead of a blue laser, it seems to be the fire to the Cold Heart's ice. 
Now moving on from there, we see a hunter using a very interesting weapon. We only see it for about a second, but it's something that looks definitely out of the ordinary. It's purple for one, so potentially he's just using that certain style of shader. But if you look at this weapon, and especially look at the front part of this weapon, this very much reminds me of the Jade Rabbit exotic scout rifle from Destiny 1. And the Jade Rabbit has actually already been seen, a lot more obviously, mind you, in a different trailer. In fact, the reveal trailer for Curse of Osiris. So this seems to be a second look at that new exotic that more confirms that it is coming within this expansion. So that's pretty cool. And right after that, we see six guardians flying towards what was previously Leviathan, but we now know houses the brand new raid layer. And right off the bat, we are hit with this insane looking vista. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at, but it's crazy. And then it moves into showcasing all six guardians walking into this area. So this is again within the bowels of that massive Cabal ship. That's where this Eater of Worlds raid layer takes place. Now I do want to point out within this screenshot here, you can see a couple of different rocks with trees on them. Presumably these are from some of the planets that this massive planet eating ship sucked up. But there seems to be little glowing parts on each of them. I would assume that these are just man cannons. Like these are different objects you can shoot from one of these rocks to another. So presumably you can actually go to these different rocks rather than just look at them within this vista. And that's actually really sweet. Now notice on this screenshot here, you can actually see the walls of the ship. In fact, you see some objects hitting and essentially bouncing off these walls up in the right hand corner. So this gives you a reference to the size of the area we're looking at here. And frankly, kind of brings on more questions than it answers. What the heck is this area of the ship? What is going on? Why is everything yellow and orange and looks like it's about to explode? I'm not sure what the heck is happening, but I can't wait to explore it. Now, right after we see that vista, we get a tiny bit of first person raid gameplay. Here, things seem a lot more mechanical. You are going through what seems to be like the pipes of the ship. However, the color hues of that yellowy orange are exactly the same. Perhaps like this is right after you go through the area we saw the vista of with the rocks and the trees, you end up in this area and travel to the next area. But that's very interesting. Speaking of the next area, right after that, we have this scene here showcasing six guardians, which again means it's from the new raid layer in an entirely new, an again, massive area of the Cabal ship. This area is a lot different, just judging on the color, and we see the Cabal engaging within a gunfight as well in the very next scene, and we see that purple background as well, again telling us that it takes place within the same area. Right after that, we see what appears to be yet another area within this new raid layer with this electrical area of the ship here. And we see the little route off to the right of where the Guardians are likely to go. And then right after that, we see the first person perspective of again what appears to be an area within this new raid layer with the Guardian flying towards some sort of crazy glowing pillar. I don't know what's going on, I can't wait to find out. And then finally we end it with the mic drop and the mic drop takes place back in normal Mercury. So it seems like that's the collection of raid gameplay that we got to see. The massive glowing area, that, that definitely seems the craziest to me. We move on to the massive glowing purple area. We then see some firefights within that purple area. Then we have the electrical area for the last little bit. So no idea what different portions these are really showing off. Could be vistas, could be actual areas we get to go. That's going to, I of course, actually have to just wait until we actually get to play this content. But it's cool that Bungie did show off, frankly, within a few seconds, a substantial amount of raid content, to be quite honest. And so that concludes all of the important things within this brand new Curse of Osiris trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
and found it informative. Now, if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the description down below at Rick Kakis, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.